Hey, this is a daily overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about how the biggest problem we have with working with clients is usually communication. So I've been working with clients for about four years now. Sorry, it's a bit windy here today. I hope you, I hope you guys can hear me all right. So I've been working with clients for about four years now and I've made a lot of mistakes. Some things have gotten really right. Some of them are, are really happy with the work. Actually, in the end, everybody's happy with the work, but a lot of times we've had a lot of frustration. And about 90% of the time, the reason we have problems is because I haven't been given the proper feedback back to the clients. Right? They want updates frequently, like more frequently than once a week, definitely more frequently than once a month, depending on the size of the project. And if something's slipping, they want to know early on. So in the last few projects that we've taken on, I've tried to, to adopt a, a daily summary approach. So this is something I used to do as a contractor, especially when I was working from home. Not so much when I was working in an office, but when we work from home, I would spend five minutes at the end of the day just updating. Hey, here's where we are with this. Here's, here's what I worked on today. Here's what I plan on working on tomorrow. And it's something that my team does too. And when I do this with clients, they really, really appreciate it. Just being you know, kept up to date with it. And it's, it's not unusual. A lot of people will complain about it. In fact, one of the problems that like a lot of people who come to me and they say they work with a developer before and they had a really bad experience, it's always the communication. Always the developer, it just, you know, they go missing for a week. They, uh, you know, they don't know what's going on. They'll ask for something and they won't hear back. I'm really bad with quoting. This is one of the things, you know, when, when I get a quote, I, I spend too much time researching it. Sometimes it could take a week or two and I probably lost a lot of deals because of that. But you have to think about it like if you, like if you order something from Amazon, I mean, because this is bigger, because this is something like if they, if they want an app, this is like a, a big thing, you know, it's their future. If you order something huge from Amazon, like you order a new computer or something or something that you, know, you just can't wait to get, and they send you the email saying trap, track shipping, I mean, how many of you guys out there are just able to not click on that button? I, mean, I, I check it all the time. I want to check, you know, how are we doing with the shipping? Where, where are we with this? Where are we with this, right? Because you're excited, right? And your clients are excited too. I, I hate, I used to hate it when the phone would ring and it would be, Eric, where are you with this? Or I get an email, where are we with this project? Because I knew it was a failing on my part. So, so we're trying out something new. It seems to be working really well with it, with, the, uh, with the clients we have at the moment. It's just doing a daily summary. And I'm not saying like a huge Gantt chart or anything. I'm just saying, hey, here's where we are with this. We, we haven't progressed on this. We've been working on this. We have a little bit of problems with this. Everything's on schedule. Everything might be a little bit late, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they really appreciate it. I guess you do open up the possibility of more scope creep, more conversations, more. Now that you say that, I was thinking, but you have to push all that back to the end. Scope creep is something as a, as a developer, you have to manage all the way through. So anyway, just a little thing that I found really helpful. I hope you find it helpful, especially if you work with clients. And uh, you know, let me know if you guys had trouble with this. Most of the time, all client problems have to do with communication. Well, it's communication and scope creep. So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.